I can see why Rory likes this place. This view should ease even the most troubled soul. A steady enough vessel, if you trust your swimming skills. Master David. You could tell it was me. Your footsteps. I ken the walk of everyone here. Well, that's, that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. Nobody left to mourn the dead, or care for their graves, it seems. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah! These vines are too thick. I need something to cut through these. Key, but I'm not keen on waiting for his return. Thank you. 
I need something to cut through these. Rory's tools. A hammer, a talon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. Rory's tools. A hammer. Uh, you wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no, then. Uh, the graveyard. Is it a family plot? Aye. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. <sighs> a cheery thought. It's a shame we do not have the means to properly care for the graves. Why bother? His bones and food for worms. Um... May I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can, what do you need it for? The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, will ye? Cecilia Shaw Nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did father bury this when he was a child? How could I have known that something was buried here? I don't remember father ever telling me about this grave. Father must have buried the chapel piece here for a reason when he was a boy. But why? And whose blood is it stained with?
The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said, that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory. Powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us, as we kept the secrets of Skahanduh, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound to the land we protect, to the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life lest my clan should suffer 
I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What are you? Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. This looks like the bottom of a lake. What are you trying to show me? I feel like I've missed something. There's a fresh wound across her stomach. The figure up there must be... Edward. Right? Uh, did you... did you see her? She... Uh, drowned. 
Calm down, you are in shock. What were you doing clamoring about in here? <laughs> oh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. What? Who are you? My name is Dr. Leah Farber. I treated your father at the asylum. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you are all right. What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet, and there are some things I still need to make my peace with. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But, unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a, in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you were in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Jesus! Oh, no! No! <laughs> Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you? I was too late. 
I was trying to help her. She... She... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell, just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong, even then. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son... We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. <laughs> 